I spent 24 hours only eating Harry Potter themed foods. Some of these were the official items from Harry Potter Studios, and some of the stuff I had to make from scratch, like lightning bolt cornflakes and pumpkin pasties. In theory, this idea was weird. In practice, I didn't catch that. Could you try again? Shut up, Siri, I'm doing an intro. Wake up, wake up, good morning, good morning, wake up. So our first meal today are lightning bolt shaped cornflakes, which were actually quite easy to make. <sighs> the biggest issue we faced here was that I didn't know if there was a difference between corn meal, which the recipe wanted, and corn flour, which I may have already used. I cut them all out, baked them for a good while, and now we're going to see if I'm going to die or not. Okay, I'm slightly nervous. <laughs> Apparently the difference between cornmeal and corn flour... <laughs> it's bigger than I thought. Of course, no breakfast would be complete without some jelly beans. Flavors we've got in here are grass, green apple, marshmallow, rotten egg, sausage, lemon, so tutti frutti, vomit, watermelon, eelwhack, earthworm, dirt, cinnamon, cherry, candy flush, bugger, blueberry, black pepper, or banana. What about stale cornflake flavor? Okay, we're gonna start off with a black one. I think this should be black pepper. Oh, <laughs> It's definitely black pepper. Okay, we're gonna have one more. I'm pretty sure this one's sausage. Nope. No, that'll be dirt. So for lunch, we're going to be feasting on some mandrake stew, which is a bit more of a challenge to make. To start with, I had to add oil, and I couldn't help but notice that it was extra virgin. Like me. And if you're wondering what part of this is meant to be mandrake, it's the dumpling. The dumplings that I kind of forgot to make. But... It's okay, because we're gonna keep it on the theme of herbology, so we added some rosemary and thyme. Now I have no idea how much rosemary to add. So I just put it all in. But looking in the pot, I knew this was stupid, so when it came to the thyme, I did the exact same thing again. The rest of the recipe was straightforward, I just had to keep stirring it and leaving it for a bit. I added four stock cubes instead of one, but that's not a big deal. That's... <laughs> That's fine. You know what? That's actually good. What about this bit with um, with a couple of herbs on it? Is this safe? It's, I'm basically eating a tree. You know, surprisingly, it's still pretty damn good. We're gonna open our butter beer. This stuff's good. It's not something that you could drink every single day, but for a nice treat, it, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's expensive. It's bloody expensive. Now, possibly the most famous Harry Potter snack is the, is the chocolate frog. I've not got the fancy box, but it does come with a, a card of a lady. Looks all right. Lots of detail. They look a lot softer in the movies. The chocolate frogs have bones? Here we are. <laughs> the big boys. Pumpkin pasties. Fun fact, it's actually very hard to buy pumpkins in the UK in March. Like, it's really hard. So we use the next best thing. Tinned apple. Yeah, I'm really worried about this. Here we go. Get your screenshots. It's me. 
and a penis. Well, the pastry is nice. You know what? This is a million times better. Apple pasties. Who would have thought? Apple pasties. I genuinely had expected to throw up at this point. I've eaten a whole willy. It's just a couple of balls. I said balls and now my dog's coming. No, not that type of ball. No. So for this drink, we make some pumpkin juice. Probably the most common drink in the Harry Potter movies. But, um... I couldn't find any pumpkin puree. I did see apple puree, but I kept looking for pumpkin puree and then I couldn't find the apple puree again. So what type of puree could you puree if a puree could puree? Tomato puree. I made pumpkin juice out of ketchup. Uh oh. It tastes nice, and then it tastes like tomato puree. This would taste so nice if it was pumpkin. God damn. Why do pumpkins have to be so, so shit at growing? Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna get thrown away. Big shout out to Bradley for the, for the recipes. They are phenomenal. Check his channel out. I wasn't baking his stuff. I got his recipes and I fucked them up. <laughs> now let's finish off. We're gonna have something nice. And simple jelly slugs. I'm scared to open them in case they move. Are you dead? Oh, they're dead. There you go. It's a little. It's a. It's a fin boy. It is literally a a slug that made out of jelly. They taste like jelly. If you want me to cook from any other show, let me know. And uh, I'm gonna carry on eating my balls. And uh, have a good weekend.